In this example, a chopping effect is created on a guitar by sidechaining a bass sound from Zeta 2 to control the PC 4K expander gate on the guitar track. This is the original unaffected guitar. And the rhythmic pattern will be created by sidechaining the bass line from Zeta 2. The first step in this process will be to go to the guitar track and inside the Pro Channel, hit the plus button and insert the PC 4K expander gate. Using the Pro Channel's flexible routing options, drag the gate to the top of the signal chain. Enable gate mode and switch on the side chaining mode. Also turn on the fast attack and dial in a very fast release time. Turn the range all the way up for the maximum amount of volume reduction and roughly adjust the threshold. Next, insert a send on the Zeta 2 track by right clicking, going to insert send, and selecting the PC 4K expander gate from the drop down list. Turn post mode off so that the signal being fed through the side chain is pre fader. This is so that the volume of the synth can be adjusted without affecting the signal going through the side chain. Now listen with the gate bypassed and with the gate engaged. The threshold of the gate should be adjusted for optimal results. And different effects can be created by experimenting with longer release times. by adjusting the range setting for lower volume reductions. Broadcasters commonly use side chaining to create a vocal ducking effect, whereby the vocal is used to control the compressor on a music bed so that the volume of the music drops as the performer is speaking. In the Pro Channel for the music track, replace the compressor with the PC 4K S-Type bus compressor and ensure that the sidechain mode is enabled. Next, right click on the voice track, go to insert send, and select the track compressor for the music track in the drop down list. Before the compression is applied, the vocal is very hard to hear under the volume of the music. And we're back! You're listening to KWLK in sunny Sonarland. Now with the voice controlling the compression of the music through the side chain, the volume of the music drops when the voice is present. And we're back! You're listening to KWLK in Adjusting the threshold on the compressor controls how much of the ducking is applied. Here's a new one from T-X1. It's Zeta 2 Electric Boogaloo. In this example, side chaining is used to duck or lower the volume of a bass guitar to emphasize the attack of a kick drum. First, right click on the compressor in the Pro Channel, go to Replace Module, and select the PC 4K S Type Channel Compressor from the drop down list. Turn on the side chain mode and go to the kick drum track. In the kick drum track, click the plus symbol on the Sends module and select the PC 4K S Type Channel Compressor on the bass track. Select pre-fader so the volume of the kick drum can be adjusted in the mix without affecting the level being sent to the side chain. For best results, turn on fast attack mode and dial in a ratio setting for the amount of gain reduction to be applied. Experiment with release times and threshold settings as well as the output level of the compressor to achieve optimal results. A popular effect in electronic music is achieved by sidechaining a kick drum to control the compression on instruments producing a pulsing effect. In this example, the mix is split into two separate buses, one housing the drums and the other labeled sidechain to house the instruments being compressed. Use quick grouping to route the instrument tracks to the sidechain bus and on the kick track insert a send to the PC 4K S type channel compressor in the sidechain bus. Select pre-fader mode 
and enable sidechain mode on the compressor in the sidechain bus. Select fast attack and turn the ratio and threshold all the way up. The release time is crucial for this effect, so experiment with release times of 0.4 to 0.6 seconds for maximum pumping effects. 